Oh my god, no. Oh, don't. Please. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to Bybee Plays Music. Today I'm gonna react to another one from Sabaton. It's a couple of weeks ago since I reacted to one of them and I'm going to react to the Unkillable Soldier, this one. It's one of their more recent ones as well. And this is apparently the third track on their album, The War to End All Wars. So far, there is not yet a history video on this song, on their history YouTube channel at least. Uh, so I had to check out a little bit further on what this song is about and on their own website, I believe, uh, sabaton.net, there is a little bit of an explanation in this. So the song is about Sir Adrian Carton de Riard. I don't know if it's pronounced right. And he's of Belgian heritage, so like me, who fought for the British Empire during World War I. Being injured multiple times, he became known as the man who could not be killed, the unkillable soldier. And then I saw on Wikipedia, which is not always 100% accurate, but I believe in big lines it is uh, informative. Apparently he was born May 5th, 1880 and died on June 5th, 1963. So he was 83. That's a nice, that's a nice age in that time. Alright, so he was a British army officer born of Belgian and Irish parents, so it's a, it's a combination. Apparently, he was shot in the face, in the head, stomach, ankle, leg, hip and ear, was blinded in his left eye, survived two plane crashes, tunneled out of a prisoner of war camp and tore off his own fingers when a doctor declined to amputate them. Describing his experience in the First World War, he wrote, Frankly, I had enjoyed the war. What a guy. That's legendary. And it's not a surprise that Sabaton makes a song out of his legends and his legacy, let's say. Alright, without any further ado, let's check this one out. The last one that I reacted to was The Soldier of Heaven. It was also uh, a legend of uh, the war being fought on the... Alps, I believe. So yeah, a couple of songs of them are dedicated to individuals, let's say. Okay, let's check this one out. Here we go. An eye patch? Oh, that's a nice reference already. So he was blind in one eye and that's probably where the eye patch here is coming from and i see in the title already already so much information so in the title here in the word soldier you see um the british flag in there so already two references in there okay let's return here we go already here some bagpipes there Oh, I've seen this guy. He does a lot of the work in the history videos of Sabaton, right? I don't know his name, but I saw that this video clip is also very cinematic. He does a lot of explanation. Sorry to pause already two times in the first 15 seconds, but there's already a lot of interesting things going on here. He's riding. That's not Joachim, right? The voice here? 
I don't know who it is. Is it Tommy that is singing right here? I don't know if it's his voice. Uh, but apparently the guy that does the history videos uh, or accompanies them in the history videos from Sabaton, uh, I assume he portrays the unkillable soldier right here, uh, Sir Adrian. I believe I heard in the lyrics uh, the word Belgian, so he's of Belgian origin. I heard shot in the eye, so that's definitely in there. He was unkillable or something like that were in the lyrics. So I will not get everything, I think, because uh, I don't know the lyrics and there are no subtitles either. So maybe I will check out the lyrics afterwards. Let's continue. Kept on fighting, never stopped. Ignoring the wounds. He's going. It's definitely faster paced. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's gory as well. I know they put a lot of effort in their video clips and mostly they are big budget as well. Uh, I saw somebody commenting that they make use or, or they work together with companies that do graphics for uh, or designs for games, for high-end games. So that's probably also where the CGI effects come from and such. So here we see him shot in the eye and they were shouting like, hey, don't really know if that was the opposing uh, side or his teammates. I mean, I mean, that would be kind of messed up if it was his own teammates. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see him. He shot him. He shot him. Oh, that's a nurse from the thumbnail. Here's the eye patch. Like I said, it's a very fast paced song. Love the choirs in the background. Grenade. Man, that nurse must have thought like, how many times do I have to <laughs> help him out? He stays alive no matter what. Is he the Wolverine? Is he Deadpool? Ancient Deadpool. He doesn't have an adamantium skull, I think. I mean, the nurses that have treated his wounds must have thought like, how is this guy still alive? Right? My God. God, no. Oh, don't. Please. Oh. oh, my solo. Oh, I like the sound of the guitar here. this solo God, 
He's still alive? How? Jesus, let's return a little bit. So again, he's in the hospital right now. He'll be back for more, yeah, indeed. Frank Frankly, I enjoyed the war. Sir Adrian Carton de Wiar. God damn. This guy must have had a lot of guardian angels <laughs> during uh, during the war. My god. Look at him sitting there back at his desk. Eye patch. Probably only half an arm. A lot of scars probably. Wow, a very graphic and very visual uh, cinematic video clip as well. It, it reminded me of uh, the Christmas truce in the sense that how it was filmed and where it was filmed. It was a lot of in the trenches as well there too. But a little bit more gore here, I think. Very nice video clip. I love the song. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot faster paced than the other songs that I reacted to from Sabaton so far. And I really love the sound of the guitar when the solo is there. Uh, it reminded me... Uh, I have heard the sound, the, the color of that guitar tone. I don't know what's the name of the band that, I, that it reminds me of. Oh, it's Hammerfall. Uh, in one of their songs, At the End of the Rainbow, also the sound of that solo, the guitar there, sounds very similar to the color of the guitar in this solo. And I love it. I love it. Yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one from Sabaton. I don't know which one will be the next that I do from them. I'm debating between No Bullets Fly and their latest one, Race to the Sea, perhaps. Let me know in the comment section, guys, which one of the two you would like me to react to next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other Sabaton reactions. The links will be in the description down below. Also, don't forget I have other reaction videos, I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So, thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. It's more. It's one of their. It's one of their more. Apparently, the third threat, and Toron. But there's already a lot of history. Um, so I heard. Sorry, there was the fly here. I don't get. I will watch. So that's prop. And 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 it's. Let me know in the cup. Also, don't forget check out my their links, or other night.